Are you thinking about getting married in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and you're in the process of figuring out who your wedding planner is going to be? Today, we are interviewing Sammy, and I'm going to tell you all about her. Sammy is the owner of Magnolia Ranch Events, a company based in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, that specializes in full-service wedding floral and event planning. With a heart for creating intentional and memorable experiences, Sammy and her team cover everything from flowers to linens to corded tabletops and furniture to lighting and every detail in between. Sammy started Magnolia Ranch after seeing the challenges clients face when managing vendors, timelines, proposals, and budgets. By offering a one-stop shop for event planning in Jackson Hole, Sammy and her team help bring their clients' vision to life with excellence. Sammy, thank you so much. I just want to interview you so that you can kind of share about your services so that a couple, if they're in the process of planning their wedding, they're like, we need a wedding planner. I want them to get to know you. So what got you into weddings and floral and planning? So when I was a little girl, I've always been creative. I always loved art projects and always, always trying to find the right medium for me. Scrapbooking was really popular when I was like in high school. It was like the thing to do, but it felt too permanent and like gluing something on the page. So like I just couldn't find the right thing that felt like me. Um, I took a gap year in college and I had like a day job. So then I wanted something to do in the evenings. I was in a new city. I didn't know anybody. I went to the mall and I applied at Abercrombie so I could get a discount. But then when I was leaving the mall, I found there's a little flower shop outside and it was so cute. And I went in and applied and it was, I, I just... It was like an epiphany and I, it clicked and I started working there and, um, I quickly quit my day job and worked at the flower shop full time. And then I went back to school. My degree is horticulture and floral design. Um, and so I have a lot of experience on like the, the growing, like not growing, but like the different varieties of florals and their habits and things like that. And, um, I come from a family that is heavy in design. My grandparents owned a, an interior design um, store and my dad and parents owned um, a shoe company that they like designed shoes. And um, so my mom was always like sketching shoes. My dad was the salesman. And so this kind of like, I I feel like what we do with our design at this point, it's almost like a full scale interior installation the way that we do it with all of the levels that we're doing but it's all set up and taken down within days rather than an existing permanent situation like it would be in a home um but we try to bring like residential feelings in so that it doesn't feel like a cheesy wedding you had your start in floral yes and then you then I went grew back to magnolia so i went back to school and got my degree and then my husband and I got married. We were high school sweethearts and we spent years apart through college and after. And when we finally got married, we started Magnolia Ranch. And I, again, am the creative and he is the one who makes it a business and does all of the number parts. And so we were able to, you know, initially I just was flowers and I would show up and put a centerpiece on the table and it was beautiful. But then I was like, why is that their ugly tablecloth? Like what is happening? why is that the chair? If, if I had known it was that chair, I would have used a different vessel. I would have used a different, right? And so it was like, I started asking the client um, as we went more and more questions of like, what other details are you including? And how can we make this feel more personal? And what can we do to bring this so that as guests walk into the wedding, it's not, oh, this is a beautiful wedding, but like, oh my gosh, this is so Alex and Marcus. Like this is exactly... Yeah. Of course, this is what their wedding looks like. And that's something that that it really is big on our hearts is making it so that it's everything the client wants it to be, but so that the guest experience also is so considered and fun for them to get to be there to celebrate the couple that they love in a way that is very obviously the couple. And so florals and then design with the linens and then tabletop and then um, in 2020, there was such a shortage of rentals and we would have clients saying like, I want to host something in my gr in my backyard. I have this beautiful yard. Um, I have the guests and the money and the date, but there's no tables available. There's no chairs available. What do I do? And there's just not a lot available locally. And so 
you know, we didn't want to come in and offer something that is already offered here. So we started bringing in rentals and it started, um, everything that we brought in is, is completely unique to Magnolia Ranch and what we have. So, um, like our tables and chairs are just a little bit elevated, um, so that we are trying to, we're just trying to level up our community and have really special offerings and, um, we're really excited about the the things that we have in our rental catalog. And, um, you know, this coming summer, we have events rented um, all the way in Montana and Sun Valley and, of course, in Jackson. But it's exciting to see, you know, the surrounding community and industry, like, get excited about what we have to offer as well. So you started with floral, then you went to rentals to fill that mm-hmm. need. And now you're mm-hmm. renting out to Jackson Wedding, Sun Valley, mm-hmm. and the main areas mm-hmm. around you. So we're happy to rent to people that are not using us for floral and planning. But our favorite spot to be in when we have clients come to us that we are able to start with them from the beginning of their engagement and plan their okay. entire event and have all of those personal details and being able to have it all in one one spot allows us to catch all those details, those meaningful things that we can bring in that are sometimes lost between, oh, well, I told that person, oh, no, it wasn't her, it was the other person. Like, it's all in-house. Like, we are all in it together. We have yeah. such an incredible team um, on on our staff that is just like, I'm thrilled to put any of them and, you know, we kind of all can do it all, but we also have our lanes that we have our specialties in. Um, but we kind of, we think it's fun to be with our team. And like, what we try to do is make it stress-free, fun, and personal. And that's what we really strive for at Magnolia Ranch. And then tell me, we were chatting earlier and you were telling me, because at this point you brought us up to the story where you haven't offered planning or you just kind of introduced it. Mm-hmm. What were clients saying to you that got you to say, okay, we need to, we need to take over the planning as well? It wasn't even necessarily what clients were saying to us. It was just like our experience with the planners as well, um, <laughs> where we would have missing holes in the information and like the client told the planner. And so then the client assumed the planner told us. And, you know, especially when it comes to design elements, there's words but they mean different things to different people does that make sense so for it to play telephone like that and the client tells the planner tells me and they each have different words and maybe what they're saying doesn't actually mean what they think it does then Mm -hmm. it just it's really hard to give our client the best possible experience through that lens of like that missing link does that make sense we also just had so many people telling us like, wow, you do way more than what a normal florist does. Like, or you do, I feel like you're doing more than what our planner is doing for us. Um, because we have always tried to help with the, so many aspects beyond just flowers, um, yeah. that it was a natural transition. And in the last few years, we've had a few planners retire, move away, stop working. And, So it just, you know, there was one week this fall or there was one week that we had three or four people say like, but can you just do our planning or who do you recommend? And I was like, I don't have anyone to recommend. I cannot continue to turn people away to, and not even turn people away, but it's like, I'm sending you to the wolves. Like, I don't have anyone to give you. And I know that your experience is going to suffer because you don't have someone in your corner who is going to fight for you. Um, and so we finally, I, I, you know, we went to our team and we were like, what can we do? And um, we're just thrilled to have um, a planning department and, and what we're able to share and provide for our clients. That's awesome. And then talk to me now, when you think about a wedding what makes Jackson Hole so good for well, for getting married? Like, what do you love about it? Something that I say to my clients all the time when we're like planning ceremony locations and stuff like that is, I'm never going to win against Mother Nature. Like, 
at certain venues, there's like full frontal Tetons and they're just like right there. And I can't compete with that. Like we can do something beautiful for you, but let's not go up. Let's keep it here so that the view is you and the mountains rather than like trying to do like some big arbor that's blocking. The mountains here are just, they're epic. There's, there's no competing with them, right? Um, something that I love about Jackson is I'm from Dallas where everything is very formal and it's very um, structured and um, I love the wildness of Jackson. I love the easy organic feel that there is in the air here naturally and um, I think that's what so many clients when they come and they say, you know, I spent a summer in Jackson and I just fell in love. I just I loved my time skiing there. It's one of our favorite places. Our va- our family vacationed there. There's just something in the air here that is so unique and special. And I think it's just that wildness and the possibility of anything that's going to come along. You know what I mean? With the weather changes and with, I mean, we've had a wedding that we were setting up one time and literally a herd of bison stampeded through the grass area directly in front of the tent and the entire tent was like shaking and the glass is rattling it was during our setup still but like anything is possible and like what incredible stories that adds to a couple's day that's a dreamy i wish that would happen to Isn't me that incredible? Like a wedding uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah that's like a it's very like dance us with wolves <laughs> yeah. um okay we'll wrap it up here if you guys enjoyed this thank you guys so much for watching uh we hope it was helpful if you are planning a wedding at jackson hole be sure to reach out to sammy if you're watching this on youtube or anywhere i will link to her down below and if you're looking for a wedding videographer and you want to capture your moments then you can reach out to me watertown films thank you sammy thank you craig we'll see you guys all on the next show